All right, let's play Sokyo Drift first because it looks the most different as in I have no fucking idea what the hell this fucking level is at all. And an underwater car level both interests and scares the shit out of me. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Make sure you hit the wall in reverse, else the car will blow up. So we got to hit the wall in reverse. Is this one I probably should watch a video on? Okay, so I can hit the car up with my head. Been working all. Honk the horn for good luck. How do you honk the horn? Uh, I watched a good chunk of Triple Mania, but I didn't see Kane Vasquez. Okay, I see what I need to do. I need to turn around and then turn back around to make this go. Make sure to press the down button. Okay, that honks the horn. I did not know that. Okay, I gotta go a lot faster because the car takes forever to go. Okay, right off the bat, this is kind of cool. Could I just like bop the car along though? Oh my god, I just realized what air horn this is. Oh man, that's really hard. Uh, if only we can make this level upside down. I see, this is... This is why we can't have nice things, though. Because you immediately take something that's already... Already horrible, and you're like... Let's make it worse. <sighs> that's a tight jump, man. No, I understand. It's hard. It's hard. Like if you're only interested, if you're only interested in the speed running and not the music, I get why it wouldn't come. I mean, ideally, I want sessions to be a free event. Okay, there we go. Okay, making moves. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, look at me. Look at me. Oh, shit, I fucked up. <laughs> that was pretty. Th this, okay. This level's pretty fun. Okay. You make it so that. All right, let's 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 scope out. Let's do a little recon mission. So we're gonna have to butt that pow, like butt into that pow. Then we're gonna have to butt into this pow. I grab this. Okay, so we butt into that pow, and then we're gonna have to make this trip as fast as possible. You gotta go really fast. Do I need to get out of the car for that? And then you... I don't know what you're gonna do there. This level is not... This level is actually pretty good. Like, if you, if you said, Hey, Pooh, I got a car water level for you. I would... And you're gonna enjoy it. I would have told you to shut the fuck up, but I'm 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 really enjoying this so far. Oh, I just jumped a little too early. Okay, so we got this. All right, all right, we're making moves. Okay, that's not what I was supposed to do. Do I need to get out of my car? Here we go.
No! <laughs> Shit! That was awesome! <laughs> it just it just like worked. This might this might be the best Mario Maker level I've played so far. Like just uh, from taking like a concept that I thought would really fucking suck and turning it into a really fun, enjoyable level. That's like it takes skill, but nothing's like incredibly like stupid difficult or new you know like all these concepts are easy to learn this is cool i meet spike through gdq i actually met spike the first time i met spike was at this event called uh aod animation on display and they used to have speed running there for some weird reason and i got invited to come do like a mario maker thing with Cryx, we ended up doing two player, one controller, 100 man expert. Um, which is actually really cool. I, 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 I'm actually, it's, it's, it's cool video. Um, and, uh, but Spike was also there. And, um, so that's where I actually met him. And you want to, guys want to know something more interesting about me and Spike's first time meeting? We actually slept together. In, you know, because this is like, you know, four guys in one hotel room. So we shared one room and one bed. And, uh, oh, I just overshot that whole motherfucker. And, okay. So, I don't really know anyone, you know what I mean? This is kind of like my first time really getting to know people in, like, the speedrun community. And this is the first time getting to really know Spike and everything. And, um... You know, when if I'm like forced in an awkward hotel share one bed situation, I you know probably wear shorts, t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like that's just me. You know, I, if if it's if it's a friend, whatever. You know, go crazy. I don't care. But you know, a new a new person you don't really know, you just met that day, haven't really talked to. You know that 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 seems appropriate, right? Not Spike Vegeta. Not Spike Vegeta. No, that man gets down to his skivvies and hops in bed. <laughs> he did not give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, so ever since then, ever since then, what can I say? I mean, when you wake up next to Spike Vegeta pitching a tent with nothing but a small piece of silk boxer shorts between you, you become homies, you know what I mean? Let's move, let's move, let's move. You don't think you can break the car on the plant? Okay, I'm gonna hold right into it. We're gonna try it this time. We're gonna try holding right into it, all right? I, I will take your guys' advice. All right, we're just holding right. Fuck you. Chat person who said just hold right into the plant. I'm sorry, that was too harsh. I don't mean that. I'm sure you're a nice human and really thought that would work. And I apologize for being so difficult in these trying times. Just, you know, I'm playing an underground water level for the car. All right, three wheel and boom. Give her the butt. You got to back it up into that power right there like you're at the club. And then we jump, and then we... Okay, now that's what you meant by holding right. You know what, chat person? I apologize. I'm jumping too high there. Oh, fuck me in the balls. Okay, so then we're going to go through that, and then we're going to jump, I'm assuming, back on there. Uh, Phony People is one of my favorite shows I've ever seen. Um, and I'm not just saying that because Matthew might be watching, uh, but they're incredible. They open up for Caliucci's, and they're just fucking awesome. Okay, so then what's this? I gotta jump out. 
Pop that. And then get back in and somehow... Okay, hold on. So let's do this again. We're, we come through, so we're gonna get here, and we're gonna jump and hit this, and that's gonna do what? Allow us to climb that. Alright, let's do this. Alright, we're back to the snake. Back to the snake. Back to the snake. No shit, I need to I need to jump underneath that so I bop it. I gotta bop it, twist it. You can't think of anything worse than underwater car level. This level's actually really fucking awesome. Why the f I think I know what I do wrong. Okay. No! No, 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 no. This is a really cool level. Back in the snake hill. Okay. supposed to do there oh I wanted to get under it okay not good not good not good not good not good should I just be like okay No! I think that's what you need to do, though. Right? That's what you need to do. Totally. I should have... You know what I should have done? I should have bopped it lower. Yeah. So what I think I need to do is just jump, like, and not worry about this ramp. So I just, like, jump over this ramp and then just right there. Like, bop once. So, like, I'll run, jump off the fish... And then as I'm going up, jump out of the car into the pow. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, I don't know. I bought I've I bought the PS3 for Last of Us. I have a Funko I have a buddy who makes custom Funkos, and he makes Funko Pops of me, both me and Ryu. Yeah, and you can buy them. Um, Hung Solo, it would have to be a whole lot of money. Or like, a whole lot. More than I could ever make on that, so probably not. No, this is just an underwater car level. Yeah, I'm not really like... I'm not big like those guys. Yeah, I'm not a big streamer, y'all. There's... I'm not, I'm not getting toy line.
I'm sorry, that level is fucking dope. That was a really, really cool level. I, I, I don't know if, if any creation has ever, has ever been so amazing. Um, as this one we're currently producing right now. Masterpiece. Give him another arm? No, he's holding out his arms like this, together. We're looking from the side. Perspective. Don't you art? Parachute swamp. Hold down to play dead. This looks like it's gonna be hard. Alright, passive Papanga. Boing voyage. 0.03 clear percent. I feel like most of his non-passive levels are higher, or have a higher clear rate, like 0.07. Good job by me. That was awesome. That was also great. Passive just means it has a checkpoint now. Okay. I don't know what I did wrong there. that a bit quicker what what man that's a series of fucking events this level's very very cool so far i really like this this might be Tenga's uh slide level was probably my favorite one he's made so far this this one's shaping up to be my second favorite easily Either this one or the space pig level are both gonna be big, long grinds, so it's okay. I the space pig level is a shell jump level, and we all know my shell jump game is not at it's not up to par yet. It's not up to the snuff that I need my Mario Maker 2 shell jump game to be at. What the fuck is this? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We want to go when it hits that line, right? But what are we going to do? Damn, it just worked. That's, what, that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> Damn it! This is difficult. Oh, this is really difficult. It's even harder when you do it like that, isn't it? <laughs> even harder when you do it like that. Why did he put the... Why did he put the guy right there? Like, that's a very difficult section without the spike top. But with the spike top, that's like impossible. I'm screwed up. Shit. Shit.
Okay, well, I see the fish now as well. That's good to know. Oh, that part sucks. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do I think it's a better kisser, Bowser or Luigi? Uh, I don't know. They both seem like kind of... I think Bowser is actually kind of a lover. He's like a long-lost lover. I think he would be a bit tender. And Luigi, I think, is kind of a... Seems kind of a pimp. You know what I mean? Like, I could totally see Luigi being, like, kind of a love him and leave him style. I feel like they've really changed Luigi's attitude since Mario Kart 8. Like, I feel like they've made him kind of, like, a little bit of a badass. Luigi doesn't kiss or take off his shoes for a sec. First of all, Luigi definitely takes off his shoes to get it on. And me, all the, all the ladies in the Mushroom Kingdom want Luigi. They talk. Those ladies are talking. If one said he keeps his shoes on, the other one's not like, Rosalina's not like, yeah, now let me hit it. Hmm. I think, I think it's just one of those situations where, you know, Luigi's a, a little bit taller than Mario. I mean, you know, shoe size might be a little bit bigger. Gloves he wears might be just a little bit larger. You get where I'm going with this. Plus, Luigi's not a doctor. He's not a referee, you know what I mean? He doesn't have all these side jobs. Like, all Luigi does is, you know, kicks it, cleans up vacation homes. Like, he's got, he's probably a... Probably got a little time to make some sweet love. I feel like there was more story in Mario Odyssey because there's a lot of the Mario Odyssey where Princess Peach does not look to really mind. Like it definitely, Mario Odyssey story to me seems like Princess Peach was definitely going to marry Bowser. On her own, like willfully. And then his constant fighting with Mario made her think like, oh, what a douchebag, who am I about to marry? Is this how it's gonna be all the time? If we go to one club, is he gonna act like this? Is there a time where I might have been the best Kaizo player in the world? Maybe a little, but I don't really care. You know. My wife wasn't rewarding me with more good loving because I was the best at avoiding Kaizo blocks. Oh my god! I am the best at avoiding fish in your face though, baby! Ugh. We got this. Yeah, for some reason, I think that is going to be bad. Okay, so I get, I'm guessing I wanted to spin jump on this. Oh, look at me. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, what am I doing in that section? Did something wrong. Yeah, very something very wrong. I gotta jump again into that. That's kind of what I want to do, right? Wait, am I supposed to use that fish to get over? Oh my god, we're finally back. We're finally back. We're finally back. We're never gonna touch the start button ever again. Guitar. Ha 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 ha! That sucked. Yeah, that fucking sucked. Dad jokes yet? Not really, no. I'm not really that dad jokey. I only need to do one. get more frustration than enjoyment out of a good level like this if you get more frustration than enjoyment out of a level it's probably not that good does that make sense no i'm not frustrated or anything i think frustration comes when you don't know why you're why you're messing up i think that's when frustration happens and sometimes that's your fault and other times it's the level's fault you know So, but like, I don't get mad just because, like, I'm screwing up really difficult jumps that I'm just not used to yet. You know, like, that doesn't really bother me now. It's always the level's fault. Sometimes. Okay, so we need four.
Okay. This looks no way harder than normal shell jump. Uh, it's definitely different. I thought I had that one. Yeah, it's definitely different. Oh shit, that was it. Uh, hard game hard, yeah. Damn! Am I doing something wrong? Uh, but if I'm in the middle, I don't have enough momentum to... There we go. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, we didn't time out. Oh! Oh! Yo, if that spring would have hit us, I would have been pissed. That was tough. That was tough. Very good level. <laughs> Y'all, if your penis looks like this, then you've, you've, you need to go see a doctor. Okay, cool. That's what it gets. Why did they let us do that? 